Hey guys, what's going on today? Uh, we've got a project here today. We've got a broken clutch cable on this Honda Harmony 2 lawnmower. HRT216. I think it has several model numbers for this particular mower. Anyway, the clutch cable broke up here where the cable connects to uh, this lever that uh, drives the rear wheels. The spring broke off, so we've got a replacement clutch cable from a local Honda dealer that was about uh, $20 or so. So first thing you need to do to replace the cable is to uh, loosen this bolt. There's a nut on the other side, 10 millimeter, and what that will do will allow you to uh, pull the uh, cable out of this uh, cable retaining sleeve. Probably best to do this with as little of the fuel as possible in the tank. I think I probably have about a quarter of a tank of fuel in here. I'm going to shut off the uh, fuel valve. Now I've flipped the mower on its side and I've taken just a garden tool to, to uh, knock out all the uh, grass that was caked in there. And then there's this shroud here that we're going to have to remove to access the uh, where the cable mounts in behind this drive assembly. So once you've got all this uh, loose grass knocked away, I see one 10 millimeter bolt in there, and it looks like there's a retainer in behind the wheel. So I'm going to take this out, and then we'll determine what other fasteners have to come out. Okay, the second fastener that needs removed. So here's the first one here, 10 millimeters. And the second one was right up in uh, here, also 10 millimeters. So both of those are out now. This should be loose enough. We can slide that out. Now that's that. That we have access here to uh, the mounting point on the drive cable. There's the part number on the cable, just for reference. I want to show you this. Uh, this is the uh, the end of the cable where it's going to mount on the drive assembly at the near the rear wheels. This is the upper portion, and this uh, ball inside the spring is where it, where it broke. So if you look inside the uh, drive assembly here in the back, this loop here that I showed you slides over this lever here. So I'll just move that with my finger, come from behind. So that loop is just going to slide over that lever. So you just need to slide the old cable off and remove it out through the top deck here and then uh, slide the new one in place. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the old one and then put the new one in. You see I'm just using this uh, guarding tool that I used to knock the grass off and that's going to pop that old, uh, old off here. Okay, so the old one's off. Pull that out and we'll slide the new one on. See uh, in here, there's just a little eye that the cable slides through. If you look at the new cable, just see there's a two squeeze, squeeze to release tabs. So on the old cable, you just need to give those a squeeze and then slide it out. The new one will just uh, snap into place when you push it in. I found it a little difficult to uh, get my hand in there to squeeze those two tabs, so I've Pop that one rear wheel off with a 12 millimeter bolt just so I could slide this out of the way to undo the 10 millimeter fastener that was in here on this second shroud. So that gives me a better access here at that mounting port point for the cable. Now that I have that cable out, I noticed that there's a small slot at the top, so alternative to squeezing those tabs for removal is just to pop the cable out the top and then slide it out. Now I've got the new cable, I'm going to pop it in here. And then I'm going to pop this loop over that uh, lever. And then reassemble in the reverse order. I have that in position now. Snap this uh, plastic, plastic tabs into place. 
Okay, now I can uh, make sure you route the cable through the top of the mower before you attach it to the lever here. Okay, now I'm going to reassemble. So reassembly steps are going to be replace this uh, smaller shroud first. Put the wheel back on and uh, then install that second shroud with two 10 millimeter bolts. Route the cable up the handle. Use some zip ties to uh, hold it in place along the uh, handle. And then once the uh, spring is in position, tighten that, tighten that bolt up on the control mechanism up there with 10 millimeter bolts. So that is uh, how to repair your clutch cable on your Honda Harmony 2 HR216 lawnmower. Thanks for watching. I noticed just before reassembling that uh, I did have one bolt that was actually missing on this uh, larger shroud. So on your mower, you likely have three to bolts to remove there: one here, one here, and one back in here.